Yes, mate. How you doing? Welcome to Josh Strasage, and finally, Kill Bill has come back to just trust Ash. Gah! Our part's over. Mate, listen to me. We did a vote, okay? We did a vote and about 38% of you said I should watch Kill Bill. Now, I'm getting so close to the camera, okay? Because something in those comments annoyed me a little bit. What annoyed me? Look, best revenge movie, that's fine, okay? You could say that. But to say the best female lead, the best female protagonist of all time? <laughs> Sorry, have you not seen Terminator 2 with Linda Hamilton? Sarah Connor with her vest, Ray-Bans and an AK-47s. Look at her. Just look at her and tell me that is the most badass picture you've ever seen in your life. And let's not even forget about Sigourney Weaver in Alien. Are you nuts? You muppets. Obviously, I haven't seen this movie, okay? Now, these two amazing female leads have just got a little nest in my heart, okay? And they're just not gonna let anyone else in. People knock, female actors knock. No, you're not coming in. But there's only one more spot left, okay? There's only one more spot. Can Uma Thurman be in my little nest of the greatest female protagonist, badass woman of all time? Also, if you haven't subscribed, Listen, mate, if you haven't, come closer, come close. I dare you to come closer. You haven't subscribed. <laughs> you haven't subscribed. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I'm going to hold on and I'm going to look you in the eyes until you subscribe for five seconds and tell me this is not the creepiest thing you've ever seen. Subscribe. Oh my God. We haven't even got the title and we have... A bride beaten up? Bill. Oh, look at these tiny details. To know that there is nothing sadistic in my actions. What, that I look like Rocky Balboa from round 12? That's not sadistic, mate. This guy. most masochistic. Bill? It's your oh, you're not gonna play Nancy Sinatra, are you? Oh, bang bang, you shut me down, bang bang. If you don't subscribe, bang bang. That awful sound of you not liking my channel, bang bang. I will shoot you down. God, I love this song so much. The perfect way to start this movie, okay? You have a short attention span. How about we get a bride and shoot her in the face? You like that? Is that going to keep your attention span for the rest of the movie? God, that's messed up. You had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. Little details. You see, Mr. Tarantino, you're not the only one putting sprinkles of your movies in your movies, okay? I got you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Literally! <laughs> Using any objects. Oh, she's. Did you see the way she just ducked it? Do you see that? She just ducked it. Saucepans. Always, always in horror movies. Hold a saucepan. I'm telling you, it will save your life. Oh, the tension in this. Oh my god. This. Oi, her kid. Look at her hand. Her hand. 
Look at our hand. Details. Oh, this is messed up. Imagine coming home from a detention. That good for nothing dog of yours? Got his little ass in the living room and acted a damn fool. How old are you, Nikki? Oh no! Bet you had a kid as well. You know, I had a little girl once. Girl. She's been about four now. Oh, are you gonna kill the kid? You want some coffee? <laughs> What's going on? Her code name was Copperhead. Mine, Black Mamba. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack. Not rationality. <laughs> God! Look at the way she doesn't even stop looking at her. She knows if she turns around for one second, this girl is going to do her dirty. Get even? Even, Stephen? I would have. Go up to Nikki's room, kill her. Then wait for your husband, the good Dr. Bell, to come home and kill him. That would be even for me. Wow. Wow. However, I beseech you for both on behalf of my daughter. Bitch, you can stop right there. <laughs> God, this girl is amazing. Stop right there with your pictures and your sympathy, bitch. This serial is called Kaboom. Of course, a Tarantino movie would have a serial called Kaboom. Weapon of choice, and if you want to stick with your butcher knife, that's fine with me. Very funny, bitch. Very funny! Oh! God! You should have got lucky charms, bitch! <laughs> Only Tarantino movies, cereal boxes come with guns as prizes, okay? Oh, the girl! Oh, the girl seen it! If you still feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. Oh my God, look at the details. I love that. The cereal's on the floor and she's crushing it. It's almost as if she's crushing her childhood, her innocence. Is Kill Bill 2 gonna be about her getting revenge when she has a kid? This girl, she's, I mean, I'm assuming she's a great warrior, right? But she's not very good with stealth. Having a... <laughs> Having a car called a pussy wagon. You can tell she's pregnant. God, she was pregnant as well. And she looks like Rocky Balboa. Hey, colored hair. Big eyes. She was a blood spattered angel. Yeah, bitch. Get the fuck away from me. Also, if you're gonna disguise yourself, how can you... Surely they must have a track record of all the nurses, right? They can't be a nurse with one eye patch. I might never have liked you. When in fact, I despise you. Dying in our sleep. Oh it's my god, shit. leave her alone, man. What, she like, stole your man or something? And if she ever wakes up, we'll do a whole lot more. What, like, what? killing her baby inside her wasn't enough and shooting her face and ruining her wedding? What else are you supposed to do? Has it, what has she done to deserve this? Oh, fucking, she's gonna get malaria as well. Listen, if you're ever having a bad day, stop complaining, because you could be Uma Thurman in Kill Bill, okay? This is me. I'm the most masochistic. Well, it's your name.
this is so messed up, man. Oh, she's going to realise she's lost a kid. Wow, like I'm getting goosebumps. That's that is so genuine. Look at her face. Like, God, I want to fucking go right now. I'm telling you, if anyone knocks on my door, my neighbor knocks on my door, literally headbutt them in the face. This is getting me like vexed. Oh shit, that's the guy from Breaking Bad. The the neo Nazi guy. This woman, what has she done to deserve this? Good. Now, rule number two no monkey bites, no hickeys. In fact, no leaving, no marks, or no kind. After that, it's all good. I heard plumbing down there don't work no more, so feel free to come in there all you want. Keep the noise down, try not to make a mess. I'll be back in 20. The plumber doesn't work. <laughs> the sand. If she dry, just lube up with this and you'll be good to go. Oh, this is messed. <laughs> Grab his dick, right? Pull it out and fry it. Punch him. Punch this piece of shit. Come on. Come on. Buy his dick off. Open his zip. Open it. Open his zip. And he's wearing a cross. This guy's wet. He's wearing a cross. <laughs> stab him, stab him, stab him. Stab his leg. Stab his fucking leg. Stab his piece of shit leg. <laughs> oh my God. Buck, you just got sliced with a buck knife. How do you feel, Buck? I'm from Huntsville, Texas. My name is Buck, and I'm here to fuck. Yo. God, this is so sad, man. I know this is a Tarantino movie, but this is so sad, man. Like, she literally doesn't feel anything anymore. Which is ironic because she got shot in the head, right? Like, she doesn't feel shit. Like, the worst thing that could ever happen has happened to her. Literally disabled isn't going to stop her from killing these creeps. These dirty humans like it's just pure willpower that's keeping her going wiggle your big toe do you think a lot of people that like this movie they clearly just wanted Uma Thurman's to see Uma Thurman's feet in this you know all those dudes with uh, feet fetishes like imagine going to your friend and being like oh mate have you seen Kill Bill have you seen the way he destroys those guys? And your friend with feet fetish just be like, oh mate, have you, did you see her feet though? That was my, one of my favorite scenes, the way she was telling the toe to wiggle. Amazing. Literally block that person. The origin of Oren. Oh, 
guys, not to die. Bow! Bang, bitch! God, listen to the sound! Oh, the blood! Boom! Oh my god, put this sword in his head, not even chopped his head off. Oh, the mom has just witnessed this. She swore revenge. Luckily for her, boss Matsumoto was a pedophile. Luckily for her. At 11, she got her revenge. Oh my God. She's not going to fight all of these guys. God, that is a scary look. She was like this and she went. Fuck that. That girl is crazy, mate. Run. Run. Listen, your gun isn't going to work, okay? She's got a gun. Oh. What kind of gun do you have that would explode their heads? By 20, she was one of the top female assassins Of in course the world. she is. She's not exactly going to work in Burger King, is she? At 25, she did her part in the killing of nine innocent people, including my unborn daughter. Oh, in they all beat her. They all beat her while she's pregnant. Bitch. Shouldn't you just learn that you, what happened to your parents? What happened to your parents? Oh, Ren Ishii. Oh, that's Sonny Chiba. Oh my God, if you don't know who this man is, OG martial artist, okay? In the same time as Bruce Lee, but he's, he was obviously, he's Japanese, but he was they did a movie called Street Fire, and in Iran, it was like one of the biggest movies. The love letter to 1970s martial art, Tarantino. You are an absolute legend, my man. I'm not bored, okay? I shaved my head. <laughs> I'm not bald. I shaved my head. <laughs> Just in case she's trying to hit on you, mate. I came to see a man. Oh, her facial expressions changed. She's not that dumb tourist anymore. I never met him. Wow, the acting in this. Hattori Hanzo, she said it with the accent. Did you see, look at her, she's got tears in her eyes when she went, I have a vermin to kill. Huge. Let me tell you something, the dialogue in this movie might as well be amazing martial arts scenes. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just want to hear every single word. Like, I know I'm talking. Oh, Tarantino, you master. Why should I help you? Because my vermin is a former student of yours. Oh, shit. 
Boise, Mr. Miyagi? Wow. Wow. Put a demon on it. She's going to bring that demonic fucking kills. God, this is like spaghetti western clean Eastwood. Just, oh, listen to the music. Just makes me want to have a standoff with the fox outside my window right now. Keeps fucking yelling, it pisses me off. <laughs> Don't smile. Don't smile, bro. Yeah. You should have just cut his teeth out. Probably helped him out. Mask is Johnny Mo, the head general of Oren's personal army, the Crazy 88. They got the Green Hornet, um, Bruce Lee. Oh, this is the little mask as well. That's from the Green Hornet. Tanaka thinks is. <laughs> the guy got so scared, he went, shut up, and he went, we're getting stressed out. <laughs> this racist prick. Go, 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 yes! Boom, bitch! That's what you get for being a racist, you piece of shit. Yes. Look at these girls. Everyone else is scared, right? They're all like... And these girls are just smiling. Isn't it disrespectful to not wipe the blood off the sword? And then putting in the... Uh... <laughs> How do you go from listen to me? I am going to tell you guys that I'm going to speak in English, and if any of you ever disrespect me, I am going to kill every last one of you. If you see, listen, girls would get into your face if they're going to argue, okay? But if you see your girl bare feet on the table and she's going run Mate, run run don't just sit there game of death oh my god please if you haven't seen game of death please do yourself a favor and go watch that movie because this movie is literally a love letter to bruce lee movies oh she's got blood Translate this bitch! Translate this bitch! Translate this face! Yeah! Yeah, you remember me? Ah! Yeah! God, look how good she looks! Did you see that? Underneath her soles, it said, fuck you! Mickey, we're gonna lose an arm, Mickey. Tear that bitch apart. <laughs> wow, this is so exaggerated. Oh my god, what is that weapon? Oh my... 
How did it not just go through her chest? If it did it to a wall like that, how does it not hurt her more? Look, do you see what I mean? It goes through everything, but when it hits her chest, nothing happens. <laughs> oh, look at her eyes. She's actually getting choked. Oh. Jesus! Wouldn't it be easier if one of you just took out a gun and shot her? No? Like if one of them, like one of the rookies, like at the bottom level just went, Hey, I actually could save all your lives because she's in the Grey Assassin. Boom! Bang bang! I shot you down. Why is that black and white? I guess that she, <laughs> her going like that for the studios is just too much. It's too much gore. We can't have this chick literally taking eyes out, but we can have her, you know, get abused and all these stuff happen to her in the movie. She could literally get beaten the shit out of, but we can't have us see this much blood. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> She's literally standing on his shoulders, cut in half with one swing. What is going on? You think 300 is exaggerated? Kill Bill, say no more. Let it go, let it go, let it go. <laughs> That's it, he just died with some bamboo stick move. See, Bruce Lee, oh my God, he did this with, uh, with nunchuck. He was in a da Japanese dojo and he was hitting them with his nunchuck in their legs. Wow, look how these silhouettes, this is beautiful, man. Do you know what this feels like? It feels like you're reading a really good, graphic novel like a great revenge graphic novel story you know but like every page is just being transferred onto the screen it's just beautifully shot man look how cute he is <laughs> She just showed him mercy and sent him to his mother. Legend has it that this kid is still with the mum, living with the mum right now. Oh my God, how much blood did they use in this? Leave them limbs that you've lost. What a line that is, what a line. They belong to me now. God, this woman is amazing. Except you, Sophie. She's still you alive. How have you right not lost enough blood are. and be dead right now? I feel like in this logic just goes out the window. Wow. I hoped you saved your energy. You might not last five minutes. Well, the, the more you keep talking, she's going to recover. So just attack her. Stop talking. You're taking your time, man. 
You just said she needs to reserve her energy. I hope you have enough energy left and you're just giving her time to recover. Wow, listen to... Who would have thought a Japanese standoff, samurai, sword fight would have Spanish... Oh my God, all we need is Antonio Banderas here. Mi amor. Fight. editing in this did you see that one slice and the music just stops she ain't dead bitch she ain't dead she ain't she ain't no silly caucasian girl you know what she's been through four years in coma malaria abused that's it just wiggle your back wiggle your back come on wiggle your back Attack me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she got you now. She got you now. Oh, this is so sexy. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, wow, the respect. Even though, like, the great enemies, they respect each other. Wow, that's so hard for her to accept it as well. God, this is intense. Oh! Oh my God! Her brain! <laughs> That's literally when a bar when you go to a barber and you say just a little bit off the top, please, mate, and they just destroy your hair. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Look how smooth that was as well. Like not one part of her brain was missing. Like the brain was intact, but the whole you know bit was gone she's taking a translator how is she not dead she literally cut her arm off she should be dead i've kept you alive for two reasons first reason is information every time you don't give me answers i'm gonna cut something off and i promise you they will be things you will miss the way she just raised her voice, the things that you miss. I want all the information on the deadly vipers. You had to give. Take her eyebrows off so she can't draw them anymore. That's the worst thing you can do to them. And the second reason is so you can tell him in person everything that happened to you tonight. I want him to witness the extent of my mercy. Let's go. I love the fact that she's writing Bill with just pure hatred. One more thing, Sophie. Is she aware her daughter is still alive? Whoa! The daughter's still alive? But when you shoot someone in the head, how is the daughter still... Listen, I'm just going to stop asking questions and let me just appreciate this absolute banging of a movie. First of all, this movie did not feel, what, one hour and 50 minutes. It didn't. I was like, do you know what this was? You know when someone gives you a 
great hug and you just don't want to let go. This movie just felt like a great hug. And yes, she's in my nest of greatest badass woman protagonist. I mean, she's like, first of all, Uma Thurman, she goes through so many different levels of emotion in this. How the hell did she not win an Oscar? I beg you, the person who won an Oscar for that year probably was just staring out the window. This woman went through, like imagine reading the script to this movie. Imagine. And the level of places you have to go through to put yourself in these situations. Do you know what I mean? Like she had to imagine herself being abused while being in coma and then slamming in the door's head and also being shot at her wedding day while she's pregnant and then chopping off people's arms and heads and killing a mom in front of a daughter. Like this woman should deserve an Oscar. Like I hope she saw some sort of therapist after this because this messed up. But the fact that she hasn't got an Oscar in this movie, like for this movie is a tragedy, it's insulting. I really want to know who won an Oscar and I want that person to just go to Uma Thurman and listen, I apologize, you were amazing. From minute one, showing the bride and her like vulnerabilities and the fact that she got destroyed and she looks like Rocky and getting shot in the head to going to one of the people that she's going to get revenge at, right? And having this most intense stare down for it to be cut with a little girl coming in and just making this and then just bringing it down is insane the, how the level of tension is raised and brought down. And then they have this casual dialogue where they respect each other. And then out of nowhere, they start fighting. It is just beautifully directed and the way Tarantino pays these love letters and homage to amazing old school 1970s martial art movies and Bruce Lee, these Japanese ones. I mean, it's just, he was just inspired by all of these movies. I mean, this whole movie, like from the fact he's wearing, you know, the game of death, um, uh, Bruce Lee's jumpsuit to just doing the dojo scene from Bruce Lee movies. I mean, the little stairs that Bruce Lee does. I mean, there was a lot of things that was inspired by those movies that I appreciate because it just, it doesn't disrespect it, but it appreciates it and pays homage to these amazing movies. And also the dialogue as well. The, the dialogue, I never thought I'd say this, but like, if you're one of those people who just wants to watch action movies, the dialogue in this movie is literally like an action movie. Like you can't take your eyes off it. Every single word matters in this movie. Every single word. Like yes, it's exaggerated and there's blood squirting out, but it's not really about that. That is just for effect. Like that is because it's just trying to be like, you know, the old school martial art movies, okay? It's it's just, it's a love letter to those movies, but also it's a really fucked up revenge movie at the same time, you know? Because Tarantino got that love letter and just made his dark twist to it, you know what I mean? Like, it, I mean, the first 30 minutes, it's so messed up. It's so messed up that you almost have to pause it and take a shower. I mean, the, the buck guy, oh, like, oh man. I just wanna see what happens in number two. I think she's obviously gonna go off the bill in number two. I really wanna see what happens to the little girl as well. Like, I wanna see what she grows up as, and obviously, is she gonna take revenge on Uma Thurman? I mean, we don't really know her name, right? Like. We just call her the bride. God, this movie is amazing. There are so many memorable lines in this as well. It felt like a whole Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, 
one-liners in this. It's just amazing, amazing movie. Great dialogue, great action, so entertaining. Great revenge movie. <laughs>